Hi everybody, this is Ian Lamont. I am the author of the Lean Media book blog and video channel available from leanmedia.org. Today I'm going to be talking about Shopify and how to create a uh, variant in Shopify for one of the, uh, one of the uh, things you're already selling. So you can see here that if you look at, this is my inventory list, you can see that I have, it says uh, 176 in stock for two variants. And most of them say in, uh, two variants, but some of them don't. Excel 2016 spreadsheet, uh, cheat sheet, and then there's another one too. Uh, Word 2016 cheat sheet. There's, you can see there's no extra thing about another variant. And indeed, if you go to the website, you'll see on the product page, Word 2016 cheat sheet, the item is there. You can buy it. You can add it to the cart. But if you can compare it to other products that are also on the website, you'll see that it'll say format and then printed or PDF. And then the user can select between them to see what they want. And then also um, you can see that the image here has a little PDF symbol on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this one right here, Word 2016 Cheat Sheet, and add a variant, a PDF variant. Um, th the fact that it's a digital product doesn't even matter. Like I could be, I could be selling something like a Word 2016 Cheat Sheet um, and then a Word 2016 Cheat Sheet large print. You know, uh, it can be anything that you want that's a variation of the same product. In, in this particular case, it's going to be a digital product, but it doesn't matter. It could be anything. So if you were selling, for instance, shirts, it could be a small shirt, a large shirt, and a medium-sized shirt of a certain, of a, of, uh, you know, a certain style or a certain color. All right, so let's get down to it. And this is what you need to do. Uh, so here is my Shopify store. Here's the product. So basically, I'm going to products, I'm finding the product, and I'm clicking on it. And this brings you to the editing console. And let's, let's blow it up a little bit. So it, this is all the stuff that you usually see. Oh, and one other thing. I do recommend doing this on a desktop computer. I know people love to use their uh, phones to do everything. And Shopify is actually pretty powerful. I think, I think you might be able to create a variant on the mobile, Shopify mobile phone app. But in this case, I think it makes it a lot easier uh, to work with... Um, work with the desktop version. For one reason, I'm working with some special files that I have to upload and the phone's not just not good, good for it. So I'm scrolling through, here's all the items here. Um, there's all these things about location, inventory history, physical product. All right, variance is down here. So this is where it gets interesting. This product has multiple options, like different sizes or colors. All right, this is what I want. I don't, I don't have different, I don't have different uh, colors uh, or sizes, but I do have different formats. So by default, Shopify gives you the common things that people use, like style, title, material, color, whatever. For me, I'm not doing that. I'm doing format. And you can just start typing it in. And then you separate the options with a comma. So there's two options here, printed, comma, and then PDF. And when you type comma, it automatically shows up as that. Uh, yeah, and there it is. Those are my two options. If I wanted to, I could even add more. Scroll down a little bit more and this, this stuff pops up. Okay, so uh, it shows the printed and it shows the PDF. And interestingly, it generated a SKU here. I'm not sure why that happened, but all right, I'll, I'll roll with it. And now you can edit the variants. So let's. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start with the printed variant, just to make sure that this is correct. All right, this is all right. Okay, uh, and hit done, we're good with that one. Let's look at the PDF. Again, I don't know where it came up with the SKU. I'm a little bit concerned about that. So I'm just gonna delete that for now. I can come back and, and um, edit that later. If I wanted to, I could change the price too. So let's say I can make it a little cheaper, 599, that's fine. Uh, location item. So um, I have a couple locations and it's just defaulting to the same one that the other variant already has, PO box. And it already gives the same uh, system code. And click done. All right. At this point, click save. And the reason why is you're about to go in and edit some other stuff and it's good just to save it. Uh, so it's pretty clear. It, it, first of all, it has all the data there and then you're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, here are the two variants. What I want to do here is first of all, fix this one so it's showing the right picture because it's not showing any picture right now and then edit this one uh, for a couple things, and I'll get to that in a minute. So here's the first variant. This is the original variant, actually. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna set the image for this, for this variant to be just like this one, the 3D image here of the cheat sheet. 
So I click Add Image, and actually, it's already uploaded. So I'm just going to select that and click Done. Okay? Um, all this stuff is fine. Nothing else needs to be changed. I often do check the, the uh, weight here because sometimes the weight for a variant will change. Uh, if, for instance, if you're manufacturing it somewhere else, you would choose, you know, wherever it, can, it comes from. All right, click Save again. Now, let's go on to the next variant. Um, just It'll show up here, or you can click the arrow over here, but let's go to it. And here's the PDF variant. Now, I, want, I do want to change the image, and I've already prepared an image, and you should too. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload an image, and actually I have one ready here. This is... Actually, uh, I want to do one thing first, make this smaller, then I can just drag it right over there. All right, so here it is, and it is this one, I think. So this is basically, a, it's a PDF, so I, I had my designer add a little PDF icon there, and it's ready to go. You might want to resize it too. Shopify always advises you to do that, but keep in mind that some people, they like to take a close look at it. So I just, I just dragged it right over here, and you can see it turning around, it's uploading it. thinking about it. There it is. It selected it. Image added. So this is this. It says select variant image. This is the one I want. It says the little PDF icon in the corner. Click done. Okay. I could mess around with the price some more. Um, tax. That's a pretty complicated topic. I'm not going to go there right now. But this is something where actually I don't need to track the quantity. And the reason is it's a digital product. And in fact, later on, I have to do something to add the digital product to Shopify. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to uncheck this because it's not a physical product. And then I'm going to click Save. All right. And actually, let's go back. Here it is. Um, let's go to the website and see what it looks like. I think it was here. Okay, so this is the old listing for it. Let's see if it updated with the variant. There it is. Format, printed or PDF. Now, another thing that you might want to do if you have variants is to adjust the text for your listing uh, to say that, you know, we have it available in small, medium, or large, or whatever. Uh, in this case, I might add to the bottom, like for instance, right here, it says the four panel reference is printed on eight and a half by 11 inch high quality cardstock. I might also say, or it's available as a downloadable as a PDF, but you get the idea. This basically does it. And now my customers can start uh, to order it once I make sure that it's uh, it's available as a digital attachment. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of Shopify, Amazon, uh, WordPress, Amazon advertising, all these th all these different programs for selling. I run my own business. I sell different types of things, my own brands. I try to do it the right way. I try to follow the terms of service of these of these various services. And I try to help people out. So if you go to leanmedia.org, click on video or click on blog, you can see more of my videos. And also, if you're watching this video right now and it helped you out, if you could take a few minutes, a few moments just to like it and subscribe to me, I'd be very grateful. Uh, again, my name is Ian Lamont. Thanks so much for watching.